And joining me now with more on Election Day 2021, we have Rabbi Dov Lippmann, former Yeshatid Party Knesset member and Secretary General of the Confederation of United Zionists. And then there's Jeremy Saltan, political strategist, director of English operations and Knesset candidate for the Yumina Party. Thank you both so much for being with us today. All right. Now, great to be with you. Now, now I want to ask first, what do voters care about, okay? Which, and, and which party addresses these needs best? We, we saw earlier people are very concerned about the economy, of course, coronavirus, but less so now that the, now that the pandemic is slightly waning in Israel. So, uh, you know, who is going to answer Israelis' needs best? Rabbi, I'll start with you. The amazing thing is uh, the conversations that I hear are yes, Netanyahu or no Netanyahu. And we feel we hear very little about people drilling down to the details. All the candidates tried to put their plans out there. We have Jeremy here, Naftali Bennett's party certainly put out its Singapore plan, New Hope put out plans, Netanyahu responded with plans, the Shatid has plans. But people that are talking to me, people are thinking about strategy how to make sure that either Netanyahu continues or Netanyahu doesn't continue and trying to figure out who to vote based on that. And I'll tell you something, Aaron, people are not decided up till the very last second for this election, much more than other ones that we've experienced. Jeremy, would you agree with that, that people are basically just voting strategically to get Netanyahu out or are they voting at least mostly uh, along party lines that they agree with? You know, what I've seen, and, and I started, you know, the early morning in, in the Zion where I live, and then I was in Maled, I mean, in the late morning, and then Jerusalem in the afternoon, is that people are looking for stability. They're looking for strength. And yeah, the voters I've spoken to, the ones that are still the undecideds, and going in today, we know that there are up to 15 seats of people who are making their decision today on election day if they do care about issues. It's true what Noah Dove said, there are people who they buy into the SBB, no BB thing. Those people knew who they were voting for uh, four elections ago, to be quite honest with you. When we're talking about the undecided voters, what they care about is who is going to be able to bring us a stable government, who's going to be able to actually go ahead and get us our jobs back, take care of the economy. We were talking about corona beforehand. What we're feeling right now is the economic, you know, harsh you know, reality that the corona has dealt with. So even if a lot of people are not worried about the health aspect, the economic one is real. When we came out with our plan to go ahead and create 400,000 new jobs, that was a very bold plan. There's a reason why after we put out our plan, everyone else realized they had to put up something also to address the issues. If this wasn't about issues, if there was no policy in this election, then no one else would have responded to this. So again, the key on a day like today is the undecideds, and those are the people who care about the issues. Well, but of course, again, and I'm glad you brought up the economy because a recent report is saying that the unemployment rate in Israel is still uh, over 15%, which is very, very high, especially compared to before the, uh, the pandemic. So, you know, what, what plan do you believe will address the economy and the unemployment rate better. I know, Jeremy, you just mentioned your plan to bring several hundred thousand jobs. Rabbi, I'll turn back to you for now uh, to, to answer the question first. There's no doubt that uh, especially small business owners are, are suffering terribly. And I do give credit to Naftali Bennett for very much bringing this issue to the fore and doing that throughout uh, the corona crisis. Uh, there's a, no doubt that there needs to be a change in the, the VAT, the taxes, uh, lowering people's taxes, giving people incentives, giving people the ability to learn new trades, learn new careers. People have seen their businesses just collapse all around them, businesses that they've had for decades. And there's no doubt that people who have small businesses have taken a look at those plans and are trying to understand who can help them the most. And there's no doubt that there has been significant debate. And again, parties have put out plans about these issues. The one thing that I always point out to the voters is remember that we have a coalition system. And even if you have the best plans in the world, it still makes a difference who you're sitting with, what ministries you have, what level of control you have in that coalition uh, to make a difference. And that's why who is at the top of the coalition, who who is there running it makes a very big difference. And therefore, thinking about who you want to be prime minister or in senior minister positions is also very, very important as you go to vote. Well, so, so follow up, who would be your dream coalition? For, forget all of the, the back and forth between all of the different parties and, and their you know, high school-ish drama. 
Uh, assuming everybody is an adult and can make compromises, who would be in your dream coalition? Yeah, so, you know, to, to me, a dream, a dream coalition is one that can actually pass the state budget. Who, I mean, well, so who's in it, country. though? Who, 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 who's in your budget? No, who's no, no, so, so I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, but I'm saying, before I explain to you which parties are going to be there, one that can actually go ahead and literally pass a state budget. We are the only country around the globe that did not pass the state budget for 2020. Forget about the, the fact that we're already deep into 2021 without having one. Listen, in order to do it, you need to be able to do something that no one else has been willing to do, and that is to go into both the BB block and the anti-BB block and bring it together and bring parties from both sides and create a stable coalition and stop with this with this BB, not BB stuff, because if we go ahead and continue in that direction, we're not going to be able to go ahead and form a coalition. Who are the you know partners that we can go ahead and do that? Anybody who agrees that passing a state budget is a fundamental reason to go ahead and put all of our right, left, BB, anti-BB arguments to the side and actually go to work for the Israeli people who are voting today to send people to work for them, not people to go ahead and work for themselves. All right. Well, unfortunately, I have to end it right now. But, gentlemen, thank you both so much for being with us again, and I hope to see you very soon for our live election coverage. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron.